Rebecca Rabbit. It is the end of another lovely day. <laughs> Peppa and George are playing with their friends, Rebecca and Richard Rabbit. Home time, my little bunnies. Oh, but we want to play some more, Mummy. Maybe tomorrow. Can Peppa and George come to our house tomorrow? Yes. Hooray! <laughs> Why is Richard crying? He's a bit scared of going downstairs. Why? We don't have stairs in our home. What? No stairs? That's right. You'll see tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> It is morning. Peppa and George are going to Rebecca Rabbit's house today. Mummy Pig can drive, and I'll do the map reading. Are you sure, Daddy Pig? We always get lost when you do the map reading. <laughs> We won't get lost. Okay. Is everybody ready? Yes, yes Mummy, Mummy Pig. Pig. Then let's go. Peppa and George are very excited. They have never been to Rebecca Rabbit's house before. Daddy, are we nearly there? The map says Rebecca's house is on the next hill. I don't understand. This should be where Rebecca Rabbit lives. We must be lost. There's just this garden of carrots. Where can Rebecca Rabbit's house be? Squeak! Hello, everyone. Squeak! Squeak! <laughs> Rebecca, do you want to play in my bedroom? Your bedroom? But where is your house? Peppa cannot see Rebecca's house anywhere. This hill is our house. It's called a burrow. Ooh! I'll show you. See you later. See you later. <laughs> Come in. <laughs> <laughs> We don't have stairs. We have tunnels. Wow! Rebecca's house is a bit different to Peppa's. This is our bedroom. Wow! You have a bed. And a window and a toy box, just like us. Of course. <laughs> I like your house. I wish I was a rabbit. I know. Shall I teach you both how to be rabbits? Yes, please. <coughs> First, you have to twitch your nose and squeak like this. <laughs> Very good, Peppa Rabbit and George Rabbit. <laughs> Peppa likes being a rabbit. George likes being a rabbit. Rabbits like carrots. Delicious. Nom 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 nom. Delicious. Yuck. George does not like carrots. He won't even try them. Oh well, more for us then. <laughs> Rebecca, what else do rabbits like? Rabbits like hopping. Come outside. I'll show you. <laughs> Let's hop. <laughs> rabbits like hopping. You're very good, rabbits. Lunchtime, children. <laughs> Mummy and Daddy Rabbit have prepared lunch. Rebecca has taught us how to be rabbits. Squeak, squeak! Oh, you'll enjoy lunch then. It's our favourite, carrots. Delicious, delicious. Yuck! George will not eat carrots. Oh dear, George! I thought you were a rabbit. Rabbits love carrots. Wow! George is eating a carrot. <laughs> And this is our favourite cake, carrot cake. Hooray! Mmm, carrot cake. <laughs> George is a proper rabbit now. <laughs> Grandpa's little tray. Peppa and George have come to play in Granny and Grandpa's garden. What's that noise? Grandpa's making something. Hello, Peppa and George. That's perfect timing. I've just finished making it. And may we ask what it is? <laughs> I'll show you. Wow! A little toy. 
toy train. It's not a toy. This is Gertrude. She's a miniature locomotive. But doesn't it need railway tracks to run on? Oh, no. I fitted Gertrude with car wheels so she can go anywhere she likes. Grandpa, can we ride in Gertrude? Hop aboard. <laughs> Full steam ahead. Bye-bye, Granny. See you later. Clever and George love Grandpa's little train. Grandpa's little train goes choo-choo-choo. 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 Grandpa's little train goes choo-choo-choo all day long. And the piggies on the train go oink, oink, oink. Oink, oink, oink. Oink, oink, oink. And the piggies on the train go oink, oink, oink all day. <laughs> Here is Grandad Dog with Danny Dog. Hello. Hello, Danny. I see you're playing toy trains. Toy? Gertrude isn't a toy. How's your little lorry? Little lorry? My breakdown truck is a proper work vehicle. Grandad, can I ride on the train? Hmm, it's your choice, Danny. If you'd rather play trains than... Thanks, Grandad. <laughs> See you later. Miss Rabbit is driving the school bus. And to our left, we can see some hills with trees. Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. All Peppa's friends are here. Can we ride on the train? Um, I'm giving the children an educational bus tour. Are trains educational? They certainly are. Uh, hands up all those who want to ride on the train. Me! Me! And hands up all those who want to stay on the bus. OK. You can all go on the train and I'll follow along behind. <laughs> What a lot of mud. We don't want to get stuck. Maybe we should go a different way. It's only a patch of mud. Come on, Gertrude. You can make it. Come on, bus. You can make it. The bus is stuck in the mud. Oh, bother. Hello, Miss Rabbit. How are you today? I'm a bit stuck. Can you rescue me? Certainly. Is your truck strong enough? Trust me. Did it work? Uh, no. We need a vehicle with more power. Can I help in any way? Uh, it's nothing that I can't deal with. Uh, thanks, anyway. I've got an idea. Grandpa Pig's train can tow me out of the mud. Uh... Good thinking, Miss Rabbit. Grandpa's little train is going to pull the bus out of the mud. Full steam. Come on, Gertrude! Oh, Gertrude! Oh, well done. It's amazing what can be done by a toy train. Toy? Gertrude isn't a toy. Gertrude is the very best train in the whole world. <laughs> painting. Pepper and George are painting today. We need some old newspaper to put on the table. Yes! <coughs> Daddy Pig is reading his newspaper. You can have my newspaper when I've finished reading it. <laughs> All right. Hooray! <laughs> now we can start painting. Silly George. Big children do not put their hands in the paint. <laughs> George loves painting with his hands. <laughs> Peppa loves painting with her hands. <laughs> Very good. Can I have a potato, Mummy Pig? They aren't cooked yet, Daddy Pig. Are you hungry, Daddy? I'm not going to eat it. Watch this. 
What is Daddy Pig doing? Ooh. Now who can tell me what this is? A flower. <laughs> <laughs> Clever, Daddy. Oh, 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 I loved painting when I was a young piggy. Now where are my old painting things? <laughs> Why are you wearing that funny hat? <laughs> this is my beret. It puts me in the mood for painting pictures. Now, what shall I paint? <laughs> well chosen, George. I'll paint the old cherry tree. What's that? It's an easel, Pepper. It holds my canvas. What's a canvas? It's a bit like paper for very special paintings. Is that toothpaste? Oh, oh no, Pepper. These are special paints for grown-up artists. There. What colour shall we begin with? Red, please. Why red, Pepper? Red is my favourite colour. But first, we need to paint the sky. Look. What colour is it? Blue, of course. Very good. Let's start with blue. <laughs> now for the cherry tree. We need green for the leaves. But there isn't any green. Never mind. If we mix blue paint with yellow paint, we can make green. Mixing blue and yellow makes green. Ooh. What lovely green leaves. And here's some grass. What about the branches? We haven't got brown paint. We can make brown. We'll mix the green and the red. Mixing green and red makes brown. Ooh. Daddy Pig paints the tree trunk and the branches. Wow! <laughs> Daddy, can I paint the cherries? Yes, Peppa. Put your finger in the paint and dab it onto the tree. <laughs> One, two, three. Well done. Now it's George's turn. <laughs> what a great painter you are, George. <laughs> there, the painting is finished. Hooray! <laughs> oh, it's the ducks. Hello, Mrs. Duck. We're painting a picture. The ducks are running through Daddy's paint. Shoo, shoo, naughty ducks. Shoo, ducks, shoo. Stay away from our painting. <laughs> oh, no. The ducks have made paint footprints all over the painting. Oh, dear. What was all that noise? Mummy, the ducks have spoiled our painting. Hmm. Let me see. The ducks are making paint footprints in the garden, just like the ones on the painting. Daddy's painting isn't spoiled, Pepper. It's perfect. Hooray! Oh, yes. I am a bit of an expert at painting. And so are the ducks. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and her family are going ice skating today. This will be fun. Peppa and George have never been ice skating before. Now, George, you won't be very good at ice skating, so just do what I do. <laughs> I'm sure we'll all be very good. Yes, especially me. <laughs> First, we need some skates. At the ice rink, everyone wears skates. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello, Mummy Pig. We'd like to hire some skates, please. There you go. Thank, Thank you. you. Happy skating. <laughs> Here are Susie Sheep, Rebecca Rabbit, Danny Dog, Zoe Zebra, Candy Cat, Emily Elephant and Pedro Pony. <laughs> Pepper's friends can ice skate very well. Hey. Pepper wants to ice skate too. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Pepper. <laughs> Is this your first time skating? Yes. Shall I show you how to skate? No, thank you, Susie. I'm sure I can already do it. OK, come on then. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> this is impossible. I don't want to do ice skating anymore. Don't worry, Pepper. 
Everyone falls over when they ice skate. Even I fall over. Watch this. Oopsie-daisy. Ho, ho. Silly daddy. <laughs> George, would you like to skate? No. George has never ice skated before, and he is a bit worried. I'll look after George while you teach Peppa how to skate. Skating is easy, Peppa. Just push with your feet and glide. Push, push, glide. See? Push, push, glide. Push, push, glide. <laughs> this is easy. I can do it on my own now, Mummy. <laughs> push, push, glide. Push, push, glide. Well done, Peppa. <laughs> Look at me! I'm skating! Peppa is doing really well. Yes, I'm a very good teacher. <laughs> Slow down, Peppa. You'll bump into someone. Don't worry, Mummy. I'm very good at skating. Oh, where are the brakes? Oh, dear. I forgot to teach Peppa how to stop. Oh. Ah! I can't stop! Look out! <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig taught you how to skate, but I taught you how to fall over. Yes, I'm very good at falling over. <laughs> George, do you want to skate too? No. Come on, George. It's fun. I'll teach you. Hit him. First, you need to... Whee! George! Come back. I'm teaching you how to ice skate. <laughs> what a surprise. George can skate beautifully. Wow. Look at George. <gasps> Very good, George. Now you need to learn how to stop. <laughs> Well done, George. You're fantastic, George. Yes, you did very well, George, for your first lesson. Oh. <laughs> Come on, let's skate. Yes! <laughs> Pepper and George love ice skating. Everyone loves ice skating. Mummy and Daddy taught me how to skate, but I taught George. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and George are in Granny and Grandpa Pig's garden. They're going to play in their treehouse. Peppa and George love their treehouse. Here are Peppa and George's friends, Zoe, Susie, Rebecca and Richard. I like your treehouse, Peppa. Can we come in? Yes. <laughs> now we can have a tea party. <laughs> Here are Pedro and Danny. Hey. Hello, Peppa. <laughs> can we come in? Sorry, Danny. Only girls can come into the treehouse. Boys are a bit noisy. They always spoil the tea parties. But George and Richard are boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Sorry, George. This tree house is for girls only. What's wrong? The girls won't let us into the tree house. <laughs> it isn't fair. Ho, oh, ho. I think I can help. Come over here. Now we can have a nice, quiet tea party. <laughs> <laughs> What's that noise? There. Now you boys have your very own den with its very own drawbridge. <laughs> a castle. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. Can we come in? No. This is a boys' den for boys only. But I love castles. Castles aren't as good as tree houses. Come on, girls. 
I'm the king of the castle. <laughs> Every castle needs a flag. Wow. They've got a flag. We don't need a silly flag. Here is Granny Pig. Hello, girls. Can I get you anything? A flag, please. And it must be better than the boys' flag. I'll see what I can do. I'm the king of the castle. Ho, ho. Every castle needs a telephone. Hold this. Keep this string nice and tight and you can talk to the boys. We don't want to talk to the boys. We don't want to talk to the girls. <coughs> Granny Pig has found a flag for the girls' den. This dress will make a pretty flag. Thank you, Granny. It isn't as good as the boys' flag. I wish we were in the castle. Fairy princesses live in castles. If I were a fairy princess, I would live in a tree house. Can we come over, please? Only if you say the castle is the best. It is the best. <laughs> I'm staying in my tree house. <laughs> I love the castle. <laughs> oh dear, it is raining and the castle has no roof. Let's go to the tree house. No, I'll never leave my castle. <laughs> The rain has stopped. <laughs> George has found a muddy puddle. That looks fun. <laughs> I'm staying in my castle. I'm staying in my tree house. Oh, oh, I'll look after your castle, Danny. I'll look after your tree house, Peppa. <laughs> Pepper and Danny love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles, whether they are girls or boys. The baby piggy. Pepper and George are visiting their big cousin, Chloe. Today, as well as seeing Chloe, you are going to meet your new cousin. Ooh. Pepper and her family have arrived at Chloe's house. Hello. Hello, Hello everyone. Hello, Pepper and George. This is Chloe, Peppa and George's big cousin. But where's our new cousin? Here's your new baby cousin. Ooh. The new cousin is a tiny baby piggy. Goo, goo, goo. Oh, how beautiful. Is it a girl, baby? No, it's a boy. Oh, I wish it was a girl. Me too. <laughs> George is pleased the baby is a boy. Dinosaur. <laughs> I think the baby's too little to play with dinosaurs. George, the baby doesn't want to play with you. It wants to play with me. Peppa, the baby is much too little to play ball games. But if it can't play with a dinosaur or a ball, what can it do? It eats and it sleeps. <coughs> and it does that. <laughs> Auntie Pig, can I hold the baby? Yes, if you're very careful, you can hold Alexander. Alexander? That's his name, Baby Alexander. What a big name for such a small piggy. It's quite nice, even though it's a boy. Goo, goo, goo. Oh, what's that smell? Maybe Alexander's nappy needs changing. Ugh, disgusting. Peppa, when you were a baby, you wore nappies. I did not. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, can I play with Peppa and George in the garden? Yes. <laughs> Chloe, is it nice having a little baby brother? Yes. Alexander is very sweet. I wish George was a sweet little baby piggy. I know. George can pretend to be a baby piggy. He can go in my doll's pram. That's a good idea. No. George does not want to be a baby. George, if you pretend to be a baby, I promise to be nice to you forever and ever. 
George is thinking. And you can play with all my toys. George is thinking more. And when we get home, you can play with all my toys. <laughs> George has decided. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What a sweet baby piggy. <laughs> Here are Candy Cat, Susie Sheep, Rebecca Rabbit and Zoe Zebra. Hello. <laughs> Why is George in that doll's pram? It's not George. It's a baby piggy. Goo goo. But it is George. George is a pretend baby piggy. Ah! Is it a girl or a boy? It's a girl. No. George does not want to be a girl baby. Okay, it's a boy. <laughs> I've got some cookies. Would the baby piggy like one? Oh no, it can't eat cookies. <laughs> George likes cookies. Maybe it can have one cookie. <laughs> goo goo! It's so clever and so handsome. <laughs> it's very funny. It's the best baby piggy ever. George likes this game. <laughs> Here is Auntie Pig with baby Alexander. Wow! A proper real baby piggy. <laughs> it's so gorgeous. It's much sweeter than George. Oh dear, George liked being the baby piggy. Oh George, you'll always be my baby piggy. <laughs> Maybe it's time for a new game. How about some dinosaur chasing? <laughs> Eat too scary! <laughs> George liked being a baby piggy, but he likes being George more. <laughs>